welcome to the lecture that's going to discuss the health maintenance needs that are occurring during the first trimester of pregnancy. For the very first prenatal visit, which we hope is going to be in the first trimester, and hopefully between six to eight weeks of gestation, there are a variety of things that are done, as you can see listed here. The very first thing that we're going to do is confirm the pregnancy, which we'll talk a little bit about on the next slide. We want to discuss with this patient, was this pregnancy desired or not desired, and do they plan on continuing the pregnancy? Because that's going to send us in a totally different direction if the patient decides that they want to terminate. We're not going to discuss that in this lecture. We are going to do an initial exam that is going to include a, a thorough history. We usually have a specific form that's related to pregnancy. It differs from the gynecology exam. And then we do a thorough head-to-toe exam. That includes the pap smear, as well as some other tests that we're going to talk about a little bit later in lecture. We do screening labs on everyone, which we will talk about. In and then we have to decide about genetic counseling through risk assessment. And last but not least, we have patient education needs. So let's go back to the pregnancy. Typically, we will do a pregnancy test on urine. And what it's detecting is the human chorionic gonadotropin. It's very simple. You don't need very much urine. And this is accurate in detecting the presence, but it doesn't mean that we have a viable pregnancy. And it is reliable at five millionths. Okay, so we just put a drop on us on a little stick and we wait for about one to two minutes and it's either going to show pink, it can show a plus sign, it can show two bars. And each particular test, depending on the vendor, will tell you what's positive, what's negative. Another option is to do a serum HCG. And we can do two forms of this. We can send it off for serum HCG, or we can send it off for a quantitative HCG. So the simple is just going to tell us, very similarly to the urine test, yes or no on pregnancy. And it will be positive at five international units per ml. The actual value is going to tell us much more than that. And where this comes into play is that 85% of your normal pregnancies, we are going to see that HCG level double every two to three days. And so if we do the simple HCG serum, we are not going to get that value. But if we use the quantitative value, we can actually monitor is the HCG, because it's in the hundred thousands by the time they're in the seventh week, it, are they doubling every two to three days? And if the patient is not, and they're bleeding, but the pregnancy test is positive, that is giving us information about the possibility of a miscarriage. We also use it with caution because if there, these HCG numbers are too high, this can indicate an abnormal pregnancy, and we call that a high detitiform mole, also known as gestational trophoblastic disease, which is going to be a totally different lecture. So if we have an HCG that's less than five, that's considered negative. Anything above 25 is considered positive. So if we have one that's eight, we're going to watch it. We're probably going to repeat it in several days.